Hey everyone, let's begin in a wide leg child's pose today. Uh, so you can have big toes touching, knees open wide, and then just relax in between your legs. So checking in with your body and your mind. How is everything going? We just had the full moon, the full corn moon. Definitely slipping into the, the next stage, next season there. A little bit cooler in the mornings. So how is that affecting you in your day? How have you been feeling the last few days? Maybe today's a turning point. You're starting to feel a little bit more settled. Just noticing how you feel here in this shape and how you feel in this moment. Reaching the arms as far forwards as feels good so you get a nice stretch through the spine. And then taking a few slow breaths. Using your breath to help let go of whatever's happening for the rest of the day. And just thinking about you for a moment, thinking about where you're at right now. Let's take a little twist from here, your right arm going underneath you towards the left side. You can put the side of the head onto the floor and reach the left fingers to the top of the mat. Feel your body inflate with the breath in. And deflate with the breath out. And then changing sides, taking the left arm underneath you towards the right side. Creeping the right fingers as far forwards as feels good. And feeling the inflation with the breath in. And with the breath out. And then untwisting, taking the arms all the way back out in front. Take one more breath here. And then walk the hands back towards the knees. <laughs> Let's bring your knees together for a moment. Come on to all fours. We will get the spine moving a little bit into cat cows, letting your belly sink. Lifting the head chest up and then push away and around. So a few more times, going in your own flow. The inhale, belly six, and the exhale, we round into the back. Last few times. Coming back to neutral, turn your fingers out towards your knees. They might not go all the way around, just see how that feels. And then we'll draw little circles. If, if the circles feel too much, you can always turn the fingers a little bit more out to the side. And then we'll take the circle the other way. So now bring your fingers back to the front and turn them all the way in. So it's like you're putting your arms on back to front. <laughs> that might feel a little bit weird. Just see how far feels okay to go. And if little circles feel all right here as well, you can do little circles. And then flipping the fingers um, back to the normal way. You can turn the palms faced up, the fingers pointing to the top of the mat and see how that feels. You could do one at a time if it feels a bit intense. And if rocking forwards and back feels okay, you can do that or just let there be a little bit of weight there. And then turning the fingers inwards so they point towards your knees. That's it, and then seeing how that feels there. Yeah. 
And then turning the fingers to face each other. You might have your middle fingers touching, thumbs, baby fingers on the floor. And then you can let the elbows bend, lower down. And then straighten the arms. Again, try that two more times. Just waking up the wrists. Last time. Yeah, release the hands, tuck your toes under, sit onto your heels, and then come up, bring your hands to interlace and circle out the wrists. Good, circling it the other way. Just waking up your body. Taking the hands to the floor, push the, the, the hands into the floor to lift the knees up, and then just let the feet Roll forwards and back, getting a little bit more alive, awake in your feet. Good, and then placing the knees back down onto the mat and sitting down onto your heels. You're going to pick your right foot up, place it on the mat. And so it looks like you're about to tell a story. <laughs> you're pushing down through your right foot, reach your right arm up to the sky, take the arm as far forwards as you can, really let your body come inside your right leg, and then wrap your right arm around your right shin. Take your left arm as far forwards as you can, and then wrap that around your back. Maybe you catch hold of your fingers here. And then you can try and peel and open up the, the left side of your body. And push down through your right foot, inhale, and exhale. Good, release. Pop in your right shin back down onto the mat. And then we're going to lift up the left foot, pop the left foot flat. Reach your left arm up to the sky, and then just reach as far forwards as you can. Wrap the left arm in front of your shin. And the hand goes up behind your back. Your right arm reaches forwards. And then take the right hand around. Maybe catch hold of the fingers here. And just work on peeling open the right chest. The right side. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Okay, release. Taking the hands back down. And then popping your left shin onto the mat. So we're going to try taking that a little bit further. Lifting your right foot up. Place the foot flat onto the floor. Stand onto your right foot. And then extend your left leg out towards the side. Now you can have your right heel lifted here if you want. Maybe if you're really struggling, then you could use a block underneath your right heel. So go for that if you want. Otherwise, pressing your right heel down to the floor, seeing how that left leg feels this morning. Right arm reaches forwards. Take the right arm around the shin. Left arm forwards. Left arm around the back. Yes, you can have the block underneath the heel if you're struggling. Long breath in. You can always keep the heel lifted. You can always not do the arms. Long breath out. Enjoy the shape. And then release. So you can bring your left leg back in, pop your left shin on the floor, right shin on the floor, take a moment. And picking your left foot up. And stand onto your left foot, and then you can extend your right leg out. So you can put the block again underneath your left heel if that feels a little bit better for you. Or no block, heel to the floor. Left arm reaches forwards. And then left arm underneath your left shin. Reach the right hand back. Right hand goes behind you. You might not catch hold of the fingers here. That's okay. You just reach for them. But good. <laughs> Welcome to your right leg, right hamstring. Inhale. And exhale. Really springing the hands back and we'll spring your right leg back in. Come into a malasana shape now. 
Press your palms together, elbows into your knees, lift your head, chest up, inhaling. And exhaling. Good. Okay, we'll take the hands to the floor, lift the hips up to the sky. Heel to the feet together. So if you've done every class Monday and Tuesday, please, your hamstrings should be talking to you a little bit. Inhale, take a halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale and fold, relax your head. Nice, heavy head. And again, inhale, take a halfway lift. Hands could be on the shins or they're on the floor. And then exhale and fold. Last time, inhale, lift the head, chest up. Checking in with whatever is feeling the most. Exhale and fold. Start to roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. We'll take the arms all the way up to the sky. And catch hold of your hands, just interlace the fingers for a moment. Turn the palms face up. You're gonna take your right leg behind you, bend your left leg and take the right leg all the way over to the left side and then lean over towards the left side. Yeah, so you get a nice big stretch here. Yeah, inhale. And exhale. Lovely. Standing onto the left leg, bring your right leg back in. We go to the other side. So you can take your left leg behind your right, bend your right leg, take it over towards the right side, and then lean over towards the right side. Yes, yeah, so you get that lovely extension here. Breathing in. You can imagine this one like a big yawn. And breathing out. Good. And then standing onto the right leg, bring your left leg back in, releasing the hands. Bring your chin to your chest. Let your shoulders round. And then travel all the way down to the floor, following your spine. Once your hands touch the floor, take a halfway lift and lengthen. And then exhale and fold, chin to chest, forehead towards the knees. Roll your way up, chin to chest. Move through each vertebra, coming up to standing. Last thing to come up is the head. Well, let's take the arms all the way back up to the sky. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms face up. Take your right leg behind your left, over towards the left side, lean and breathe into the right side. <laughs> Should be a little bit easier this time. Standing onto your left leg, right leg comes back. And then we take the left leg over to the right. Bend into the right leg, lean into the left side. Or lean over into the right side, sorry guys. And feel the left side. Good. Standing onto your right leg, bringing your left leg back. Releasing the hands, chin to chest. Roll through the spine. Lowering the crown of the head down towards the floor. And then once the hands touch the floor, take a halfway lift and lengthen. And then an exhale and fold. Last little warm up -y thing before we get going. Hold on to opposite elbows. We're going to bend the knees and sit the hips down low. We've been playing with this all week. And then sending the elbows down and the hips up. Four more of them, do it in your own time. Pulsing energy, life into those legs. And last one. And then releasing the arms slowly, roll your way up. And we've been playing with balance all week. So you can bring your hands to your heart center, see how it feels today. Come up high onto your toes, find something to focus on. Bend your knees, keep your heels lifted. Squeeze the heels down towards the floor and then straighten the legs. And again, coming up high into the toes. Bending the knees. 
squeezing the heels down and then straightening the legs. Last one, come up high into the toes. Bend the knees. And how does it feel today? Lower the heels to the floor and then straighten the legs. Reverse that now, bend the knees. Get down nice and low. Strong feet, lift the heels up. Straighten the legs, crown of the head to the sky and then lower the heels. Two more, bend the knees. Keep the knees bent, lift the heels up. Get straight in the legs, crown of the head to the sky, find that balance, <laughs> and then lower the heels down. Last one, bend the knees. Lift the heels. Straighten the legs, and then squeeze the heels down. Well done, releasing the hands. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky, foot thighs forwards, hips forwards, and then exhale, fold and hinge from the hips. How is your hamstrings? Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, and then walk your hands out into your first plank pose. You can take little circles. We've already woken up the wrists a little bit, but you can circle it a little bit more. And then circle it the other way. From here, drop both heels to the right side. Swing your left arm up to the sky, lift the hips up. Get it, lower your left hand down. Lift the he heels up, drop them to the left. Swing your right arm up to the sky. And start to think about your core now. Bring your right forearm onto the floor. Drop both heels to the right. Left arm up to the sky. Yes, how did that go? Good. Now lower your left forearm down, pick the heels up, let them fall towards the left. Right arm goes up to the sky. Yes, and now bring your right hand back onto the floor, lift the heels up, and then swing your left arm up to the sky. Yes, <laughs> good. Lower your left hand down, lift the heels up, let them fall towards the left, right arm up to the sky. And one more time, bring your right forearm to the floor, lift the heels up, let them fall to the right, left arm up to the sky, keep that core strong now. Left forearm to the floor, lift the heels up, let them fall to the left, right arm up to the sky. Okay, so now bring your right hand onto the floor, lift your heels up, swing your left arm up to the sky. You can always drop your knees anytime. And then left hand to the floor, lift the heels up, let them fall to the left, right arm up to the sky. Well done, bring your right hand back, draw your chest forwards, lower your knees if you want to, or elbows brushed by the rib cage. Push down to come up cobra, up dog, and then we come back into your downward facing dog, your first one. Bend your knees and lift your hips up high, you can also press your heels down one by one. I feel like we've done quite a lot of waking up through the legs, the ankles, the feet, so this should feel pretty okay. Come forwards into your plank pose. Lower yourself all the way down onto your mat. Uh, undo your feet, have your feet flat. Push down to the tops of the feet, the thighs, the pubic bone. Bring your hands by your side, palms face down. You might feel this from yesterday, so take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, lift the head up, lift the shoulders up, lift your chest up and push your hands down into the floor. Push your feet down into the floor. Good, and then slowly lower down. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, lift the head up, lift the shoulders up, press the palms down, press your feet down, feel your back working. And then slowly lower down. This time, keep your head on the floor, separate your feet a little bit, big breath in, 
As you breathe out, try and reach your right foot further away from you and then try and lift the leg up. I'm going to pulse the leg. Little pulses, we want the glute and we want the hamstring working. How much can you push down to your left foot and how much does that change it? Yeah, lower your right leg back down. Now try and reach your left leg away and then up. And once you get as high as you can go, pulse the leg. Pulsing from the hamstring and from the glute. So just toning your body ready for your practice. Firing up the muscles so they're ready and awake to support you. And then lowering the left leg down. Now take a, deep, a big breath in. As you breathe out, lift the head up, lift the shoulders up, lift the chest up, and then lift your legs up. Everything firing. Can you lift your hands up? Hold it there. Inhale. And exhale, keep the chest lifting. Good. Lovely guys, slowly lower back down. Take the hands underneath your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulders back. Yeah, <laughs> push the hands through the hands, take your hips back into child's pose. Knees together, feet together. Forehead into the mat. Yeah, how does it all feel so far? Hopefully most of the body is awake and ready and prepped for whatever's ahead. So let's come up onto all fours. Let your belly sink and lift your head chest up. Tuck your toes under and lift the hips up into your downward facing dog. Good. Once you're in downward dog, lift your right leg up to the sky, bend the knee and open up the hip. Or bring your right knee to your right elbow, give it a little tap and then take it all the way back. Now make sure all the muscles are working here. So right knee to right elbow, feel your inner thigh, feel your core, feel your shoulders, and then take it back and open up. Last time, right knee to right elbow, give it a little tap, and then put your right foot outside your right hand. Yes, lower your left knee to the floor, come onto your fingertips, draw your chest forwards. Now your right foot is out towards the right side, you're gonna keep it there, Come back onto your left knee and draw the right toes up to the face. Yeah, so normally we bring the right foot more center. Keep it there though. See how it feels. Inhale, chest forwards. Exhale, fold over the leg. And coming back onto the right leg. Lifting the back knee up off the floor. And then extend your left leg out towards the left side, like we did earlier. Flex the foot, sit down into that shape we were earlier. If you can, reach the arms forwards or keep the hands on the floor. You can also have your right heel lifted. Yeah, taking the hands down, swing your left leg all the way back to the back of the mat. And take your right foot to the back of the mat. Elbows brush by the rib cage. Cobra up dog, lift the chest up and then take it up and back, downward facing dog. A little wiggle just to see how that feels. Now swing your left leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip. In your left knee, tap your left elbow and then take it back, open up the hip. Use all your muscles and again, left knee taps or moves towards the left elbow. Take it back, open up the hip. Last time, left knee to your left elbow and then foot outside the left hand. You got it, lower your right knee, come onto your fingertips and draw your chest forwards. Definitely starting to feel a little bit of heat here. Inhale. And as you exhale, come back onto your right leg. Remember this left leg is slightly out to the side. And that is fine. Notice how it feels. Breathe in, chest forwards. 
breathe out and fold over so it's like you rather than going over the leg going inside the leg here how does that feel different take one more breath it's the same thing you stand onto your left leg and now swing your right leg out towards the right side you might stay up on your heel you might uh maybe slip the block under there for a moment or you might keep the heel lifted yeah see what feels good you can reach your arms forwards breathing in you might be higher than me you might be lower than me and then breathe out, hands down, rock onto the hands, and then take your right leg all the way back. So it's a little bit of a fiddle. Front foot moves to the back, and then into your vinyasa. Lower the knees if you want, or elbows bent. Push down to come up, cobra up dog, and then take it up and back into your downward facing dog. How is that feeling? Inhale. And exhale. Let's keep moving, right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip. Bring your right knee to tap your right elbow. Maybe it doesn't get all the way there, that's fine. Take it back, open up the hip. And again, right knee, right elbow. Take it back, open up the hip. This time, right knee, right elbow. And now you're gonna bring your right knee into your nose and pop the foot inside the hands. Yes, we are coming up into a high lunge. So you can lift your arms up and see how that feels here. Good. Interlace your fingers and turn your palms face up. Keep standing onto the right leg and take your left leg over to the right like you did earlier and lean and breathe into your left side. Bring your body back to center and then take your left leg all the way back to the back of the mat. Come back into a high lunge. Are we there? Well done. Taking the hands down either side from foot. Now work on straightening your right leg, right toes to the face if you like. Good. Swing your right foot to the back of the mat. Vinyasa, elbows brushed by the rib cage. You can always skip this bit. Meet me in downward dog. Or go with the flow. Hold it there, big breath in. Long breath out. Yes. Left leg swings up to the sky. Bend the knee and open up the head. Three times, elbow to left knee. Might not get there, that's fine. Take it back, open it up. And again, left knee, left elbow. And then take it back. Good, last time, left knee, left elbow. Now bring your knee into your nose and then pop the left foot inside the left hand. Yes, <laughs> let's come up into a high lunge. How are the legs? Once you get there, interlace the fingers, turn the palms face up. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to stand onto your left leg and take your right leg over towards the left side and then lean and breathe into the right side. So we've been here before. Good, and then bring your body back to center. Take your right leg all the way back to the back of the mat. Lean back, open up. Good, and then take your hands down either side of the front foot. And we'll work on straightening this left leg. Draw the left toes to the face. How does it feel? Inhale. And exhale. Body warming up. You can re-bend into the left leg or just sweep that left leg right back to the back of the mat. See where you're at with that. And then elbows brushed by the rib cage. Cobra up dog. And then back downward facing dog. Big breath in. And a long breath out. Lower the knees, have your knees open wide, big toes touching 
Relax into your child's pose just for a moment. Forehead down into the mat. Shake out shoulders. Notice how the hips are. Let's thread in the last few days into the next little flow. Now that you're nice and warm, let's see where we can go with it. <laughs> I'm nice and warm anyway, I hope you are too. So let's bring your knees back together. Come up onto all fours. Let the belly sink and lift the head chest up. Tuck your toes under and lift the hips up and back down with facing dog. Yes, walk your hands back towards your feet. Hopefully the hamstrings are giving way. Got a little bit more space there. And then slowly roll your way up to standing. Bring your palms together. Push the thumbs into the chest just to help you balance. And pull weight into your right foot. See if you can bring your left knee up to your chest. There's your last chance, giving this a go. Extend your left leg forwards, bend your right leg as much as you can and lean back. As you lean back, how far forwards can you lower the right foot to then stand on it, push through the right toes and then lift your right leg up into a warrior three. You could try pulsing that right leg in warrior three. Yeah, see if you're strong and stable today. And then lower your left fingers towards the floor. Now you can rest the hand on the floor or hover it. Take your right arm up to the sky and open up your right hip. Yeah, so we are in a half moon here. Spin your left arm out towards the left side. Bring your chest parallel to the floor. Drop your right hip. And then bring your right knee into your chest, come up to standing. You can hold on to your knee and squeeze the thigh in. How are we doing? It's a cat going by a screen. <laughs> so now release the hands, take your right leg all the way behind you over to the left side, arms up towards the sky, interlace the fingers, turn the palms face up and let's lean into the right side. Good, now bring your body back through center. Release your hands, take them by your side. Keep your left leg bent and slide your right leg back into warrior three with a bent left leg. Try and straighten the left leg, I know it's tough. And then, whoops, re-bend the left leg. Hands go to the floor. And then you can lift your right leg up to the sky and try and straighten your left leg. See where you can go into your standing split. And you're going to bend your right leg today. Bring your heel to the bum. Reach back, catch hold of your right foot with your left hand. Try and look underneath your right arm towards the right side. When you can do no more, release your right hand. Lower your right foot. How is that left leg? <laughs> Inhale, take a halfway lift. And then exhale and fold. Slowly roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. One leg feeling alive. Press your palms together, lift your arms up. And then exhale and fold, hinge. Inhale, take a halfway lift and length. And as you exhale, jump back, step back, find your plank. Vinyasa or skip it. If you're tired, skip it. Meet me in downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Walking your hands back towards your feet and then rolling your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. Yes, bring your palms together, thumbs into your chest bone. Now stand onto the left leg and bring your right knee up to your chest. And then extend the right leg forward. See if you can lean back, lean back, lean back. You're going to then try and stand onto that right foot as far away from you as you can. And then lift the left leg up. Come into warrior three. 
this is always my more complicated side. <laughs> Maybe you can pulse the left leg a little bit. See how that feels there. Now nice and strong to the left leg, take your right hand to the floor, or you uh, hover the hands off the floor. And then take your left arm up to the sky and open up the left hip into your half moon. Find that balance, find the stability. Open up the arms to the sides, drop your left hip in line with your right. Good job, you're gonna bring your left knee into your chest. Coming up to standing on the right leg. All right, so now taking your arms up to the sky, swing your left leg behind you, interlace the fingers, take the left leg over to the right, bend into the right leg and lean into the right side, take the stretch into the left side. Bring your body back up, take your hands by your side, keep the right leg nice and bent. And then swing the left leg all the way back, boy three, with a bent right leg. This is the tough bit, try and straighten the right leg. And then re-bend the leg. Good, you can take the hands to the floor and then lift the left leg up. Straighten the right leg, get into your standing split, your version of it. Bend the knee and open up the hip. Should feel nice that you can have a bend in your right leg. There's no problem with that. Take your right hand back, catch hold of your left foot, send the knee up to the sky. Feel your right leg. And then when you're ready, release the left foot next to the right. Halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale and fold. And roll your way up, chin to chest. Press your palms together, lift your arms up to the sky. And then exhale, fold and hinge. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And then exhale, jump back, step back, float back. Vinyasa. Cobra up dog and downward facing dog is where we meet. Inhale. And exhale. Got a little peak pose for you coming up. Last little stretch into it. So you can take your right leg up to the sky and you bring your right knee into your nose this time. Pop the foot inside the hands. Lower your left knee to the floor. Come up onto your fists. We'll come back onto the left knee. Draw the right toes to your face. Yeah, so rather than the leg out to the side, you're right above your right leg this time. Push down to your right heel, but at the same time, push your shin up to your face. See if you can make that work. It really makes sense for me, that one, but I, maybe it's a little bit confusing. But you're thinking about pushing the shin up as you're pushing the heel down. It changes how it feels within the hip. Rebend into your right leg. Bring your hands into fists to support you. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. You can work on wiggling your right foot forwards. You can work on seeing how low you can go. Wherever you are, find that place that you're getting a stretch in the hamstring. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Alrighty, so you're gonna re-bend this right leg, bring it back underneath you. Yep, walk your hands forwards and then stand onto your right leg, lift your left leg up. Bend your left knee and uh, bring your thigh towards your belly. Catch hold, uh, take your right hand inside your right leg to catch hold of your left foot. Now, you're going to stay on your left fingertips, maybe have a little look underneath your left arm, try and bring your right shoulder inside your right leg, and then send your left knee up to the sky. Yeah, <laughs> see what happens here. So your right arm is inside your right leg, you caught hold of your left foot with the right hand, 
and you're sending the knee up to the sky, twisting, looking towards the left. See where you can get to there. It's a big pose. On, release. If you got there, don't worry if not, it's all a journey. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Roll your way up. One leg feeling like it's done something. Press your palms together, lift your arms up. And then exhale and fold. Inhale, take a halfway lift, lengthen. And then exhale, jump it back, slap it back. Vinyasa, elbows brushed by the rib cage. Push down, cobra up dog. And then back down with facing dog. Isn't it lovely that in yoga you pretty much always got a right and left side to do? So let's take the left leg up to the sky. You can bend the knee, open up the hip for some relief there. Left foot inside the left thumb. Enjoy familiar moments. Relax into familiar moments. So we'll come back onto the right knee and then left toes up to the sky. Hmm. <laughs> Big breath in, chest forwards. And as you breathe out, push down to the heel at the same time, trying to kick the shin towards your face. Good, all right, then back into that left leg. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and then maybe wiggle the left foot forwards. See where it feels okay for you to get to today. You can keep your back toes tucked under. You can keep yourself up nice and high. Yeah, just feel the hamstring, where are you at? And it might be uh, less than another day or another time of the day. This time of the day that you're doing it right now might be a little bit of a tighter time. So just listen to it, go with it. Push down through the fist and let's bring the left foot underneath you. So you've got your right knee on the floor, left foot underneath you. Walk the hands forwards and then lift your right leg up. Okay, let's see if we can work it out now. So let's bring your right thigh into your chest for a moment. Take your left arm inside your left leg. Try and start to twist the chest towards the left side. When you've got your balance, your right fingertips are supporting you. Your left hand catches hold of your right foot. Now keep hold of the foot as you start to open up the knee to the sky and twist the chest towards the right. See where you can go. Breathe into it. Don't get attached to creating any sort of shape. Just get attached to feeling the stretch. Where do you feel it? Where, where do you need to be to feel it? One more breath. And then release. Are we all here? Yeah, inhale, take a half a lift. And then exhale and fold. Well done, guys. Slowly start to roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. Well done. Press your palms together, lift your arms up. I'd love to see some pictures of that. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. We jump it back, step it back, plank pose. It's your last vinyasa, elbows brushed by the rib cage. Push down, cobra up dog, and then take it up and back, downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing in. Good. Bend knees and look forwards. We're going to try and cross the feet by the hands and then drag the knees through. Come to seated. <laughs> Give the legs a nice little shake out. Well done, everybody. When you feel ready, come into Hashimottanasana, forward fold. Push down to the fingertips, lift up nice and tall, and then fold over the legs. Hopefully that feels pretty nice. Inhale, chest forwards, exhale and fold. 
So we've done lots of forward folding. It's a, a really nice uh, action to do as we draw into the autumn months, reflecting what we will be doing in a couple of weeks' time. Drawing in, drawing the curtains earlier, getting cozy. Slowly roll your way back up. Bring the soles of the feet together. This will feel nice now. Catch hold of your toes. Inhale nice and tall. And then start to walk your hands forward. Relax. Although we've worked hard today, take these little moments now to relax, to let go of any of the lactic acid that might have built up. Any of the tension that might have built up. Sometimes we become tense within our practice, just with the effort. And then slowly come back up. So you're going to make your way down onto, the, onto your back. You can keep your knees open. Oh, but you're all glad to get to this point. Our arms up and over your head. Ah. <laughs> Take an inhale. And you can sigh it out, exhale. If you have a block there, then grab hold of it now. Don't worry if not, you don't have to use it, but bring your knees up, have your feet flat onto the floor, big breath in, into bridge pose. As you breathe out, push down through both feet and lift the hips up. Now, if you want to, slide the block underneath the sacrum and you can just hang there for a moment. If you haven't got a block, don't worry about it. Use the strength of your legs, your, your glutes and your hamstrings. Take a breath in. And a breath out. We haven't done much back bending. So lifting the hips up, taking the block away, slowly lowering down if you um, haven't already. We're going to repeat that again, or you will go into your wheel pose. Yeah. Really important to counterpose the past. We did loads of forward folding. So even though it won't be your biggest wheel, it won't be your biggest bridge, go for it. <laughs> Arms come up and over your head. Fingertips towards the shoulders, squeeze the elbows in. A nice big breath in. As you breathe out, push down through the hands and then come into your wheel or maybe you stay in bridge today. But take one more breath. And then the elbows bend and you can lower yourself all the way back down. Yeah, feet as wide as the mat, windscreen wide for the legs. Last uh, back bend of the day. Stretch your legs out straight, point your toes. We did it yesterday. Lift your right hip up, place your right hand underneath your right buttock, palm flat on the floor. Lift your left hip up, left hand underneath your left buttock. Okay, so coming into fish point pose, point your toes, push your legs down into the mat, start to bend your elbows, lift your chest up and rest onto the crown of your head there. Breathing in, don't put loads of weight onto your head. Push through your elbows, puff your chest up. And then when you feel ready, chin to chest. And then lower yourself down. <sighs> well done, release the hands. Bring your heat, your thighs into your chest now. Wrap your arms over the tops of the knees. Last little twist before we finish. Both knees fall to the right side. Look at your left hand. Squeeze into your left shoulder. And then swing it back to the center. Take it over to the other side. Look at your right hand. Breathe into your belly, into your body. And bringing yourself back to the center, 
hands behind the thighs, roll your way up to seated. You're welcome to lay down and take Shavasana, but I'm going to bring you into a seated place. Eyes closed, face relaxed. Now, if you want your Shavasana, take that. So let draw, relax that shoulders, relax. How does it feel to sit here after all the practice that you've done, all the asanas, freeing up your body, freeing up muscles, finding strength, finding flexibility. We take three cleansing breaths to finish. So inhale through the nose. And open your mouth, exhale, let it go. And again, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Last time, big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Breathing normally, naturally. Bringing the palms together, rub the hands. Placing the hands over your closed eyes. Setting an intention to look after yourself today, to not whiz through the day without taking another thought about yourself. Where can you take little moments for you? And then gently wipe the eyes and the face awake. I must say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I hope your body feels good. I will see you next Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday online. Have a great day.